The Hayes Turbo is a commercial-grade butt-fusion machine, reliable and hydraulic-assisted. Machine consists of pipe alignment carriage, insert sets, hydraulic power unit, Teflon-coated heating plate, electric trimmer, and electric stand. Machine Operation Before operation, make sure of the following. Skill and knowledge are required to obtain a good quality joint. The machine should be placed on a stable and dry surface to operate. Ensure you have the right generator for the required power supply and enough fuel to complete the fusion joint. Place the appropriate inserts for the pipe size being fused. Maintain the specified heater temperature according to the manufacturer's recommendation. Setting up the unit. Connect the trimmer and the heater to the hydraulic unit with the special connectors. Connect the basic frame to the hydraulic unit using the quick couplers. Finally, to operate the entire machine, connect the hydraulic unit to the appropriate power source. Turn on the machine to activate the voltmeter, temperature, and timer. Prepare the pipe. Before starting the welding process, it is very important to select the right inserts for the pipe diameter being fused. Align the pipe ends with the machine, place them in the clamps, and then close the clamps. Do not force pipes into alignment against open fusion machine clamps. Pipe ends should protrude past the clamps enough so that facing will be complete. Release the pressure regulating valve and the pressure gauge in order to bring pipe ends together without force and check high-low alignment. Adjust alignment as necessary by tightening the high side down. Place the trimmer between the pipe ends. Turn the trimmer on and bring the pipe ends together against the trimmer with minimal force to establish smooth, clean, parallel mating surfaces. If the trimmer begins to struggle, apply less force. Use the hydraulic unit to open the clamps and separate the pipe ends from the trimmer. Turn off the trimmer first, and then remove the trimmer when the blades have stopped spinning. Clean the inside and outside of the pipe ends with a clean, dry, lint-free, non-synthetic cloth. Bring the pipe ends together to check high-low alignment. Look for complete contact all around both ends with no detectable gaps. The maximum high-low misalignment is to be less than 10% of the pipe minimum wall thickness. If necessary, adjust the high misalignment side by tightening the top clamp. Do not loosen the bottom clamp because pipes may slip during fusion. Reface the pipe ends if there is an excessive misalignment. Obtain a copy of the pipe manufacturer's welding parameters to know the amount of pressure and time to apply in each stage. Follow the procedure carefully and adhere to all specified instructions. Heating up or melting the pipe ends. Set up the initial pressure according to the welding parameters for the pipe size being fused. This will ensure the pipe ends have the right melting contact against the heating plate. you will need to select the specific time or time one until a slight melt is observed under pressure. You also need to program the specific time or time two for the heat soak maintaining only contact pressure until the desired bead size is formed. Verify that the heater surface temperature is in range according to the standard. Incorrect heating temperature can result in questionable fusion joints. Place the heating tool or heater between the pipe ends and move the ends against the heating tool under the initial pressure. Here, you will see a slight melt under pressure. The fusion operator shall be aware of ambient weather conditions to make adjustments to the fusion procedure. When the timer one goes off, you need to reduce the pressure to drag pressure.
At this point, the heat soak starts until the bead size builds up during time two. In colder environments, the heating time need to be longer to develop a proper bead size. Do not increase the heater temperature and do not apply additional pressure. When the timer goes off and the proper melt bead size is formed, quickly separate the pipe ends and remove the heating tool. This process should be completed within the recommended time. Close the clamps by bringing the pipe ends together. Raise the pressure gradually and steadily, using the set time until a welding pressure is reached. Do not use excessive or insufficient force. Now is cooling time. You need to keep the pipe ends together on the alignment maintaining fusion pressure until the joint is cool. This time will be approximately 11 minutes per inch of pipe wall thickness. Holding fusion pressure during cooling time is crucial to achieve joint integrity. Once the cooling time with pressure has ended, decrease the pressure at contact pressure or zero. Avoid pulling, installation, pressure testing and rough handling for at least an additional 30 minutes after removal from the fusion machine. For ambient temperatures above 100 degrees Fahrenheit, additional cooling time may be needed. Do not try to reduce cooling time by pouring water or applying wet cloths. Inspect both sides. The double bead should be rolled over to the surface and be uniformly rounded and consistent in size all around the joint. Contact us at hazefusion.com.